hello guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for clicking on this video and uh, you guys are ready to get to know another verse of the bible because i do bible reactions in this channel so basically i just pick a verse randomly and uh, whatever i understand also being very respectful with the word of god knowing understanding right there in the moment what is the verse telling me at this moment of course we do bible verses here only we don't do books of other people we don't do anything other than just the bible so basically when we select a verse of the bible we're saying we're selecting the bible the whole bible one verse of the bible means everything right so why do we do this i wanted to do this because of the need of the thirst that uh, many of you may have and the thirst that i have of knowing the word of god of learning the word of god growing in christ and uh, you know thanking god for the opportunity that he has given us to to know him to have him as our savior our lord and savior so we just want to know more about the word of god get closer to god have the holy spirit work in our lives and i know he's going to do that i'm pretty sure about it because if it's related with his word God's word, Yahweh's word, the word that he inspired, the whole scripture is inspired by the Holy Spirit. So that gives me freedom to live, to experience God, to worship God, to enter through his gates and uh, worship him. And uh, today we're going to read, I am just going to pick randomly, you know, my app. It has all the books of the Bible, so I just pick one. Let's see. This video is about Ephesians 4, chapter 13. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is unity. When we talk about unity, God is talking about that the Holy Spirit in this um, specific uh, first chapter and verse is talking about the unity of the Holy Spirit. And uh, I was reading two verses before this one, and it says, Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. So saying that we are now understanding that uh, it's talking about this different gifts that Jesus, the Christ gave to the church to do a certain job. Okay, so basically, I'm not saying that I am a pastor. I'm not saying that I'm a prophet. I'm not saying that I'm an evangelist or a teacher or an apostle. I'm not saying that I am that. But I'm saying that it's going to uh, click a little bit, you know, with these videos that I'm making here. If you listen on the next verse, it says, Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do His work and build up the church, the body of Christ. So there's a responsibility on these five gifts that God gave the church. And their responsibility is to equip, to equip us to equip the body of Christ, the church of Christ. So if there are prophets, pastors, teachers, their responsibility is to teach us the word of God. And now we're going to get to the verse. It says, this will continue until we all come to such unity. Okay, so all this teaching, learning that uh, these prophets and uh, teachers are helping us to grow to get to know the Lord so that we can understand the opportunity that we have in front of us to come to God's throne. We have this amazing opportunity to grow in Christ, to, to grow in the scripture. These people, th these gifts that God gave us are responsible to teach us, to show us 
And so this is what we're learning. So whenever you can talk to your pastor, whenever you can talk to a minister, somebody that's, that's a leader in charge, they are responsible to help you. It says this will continue until we all come to such a unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son. So our faith and knowledge of God's Son. That's amazing because remember, we talk about God in this channel. We talk about Christ and we talk about everything Bible. And why? Because we know this is the Word of God. We know that God gave us this Word so we can grow. God gave us this Word so we can be better people on this earth and not only on this earth, but so that we can understand that He gave His life so that we can have the opportunity to have a connection with Him. And at the end, He's also empowering us through these people, through these gifts that He already gave to the church. So He has given talent so that they can, you know, talk to us uh, uh, we have teachers we have prophets we have you know all kinds of gifts that the church has so that we can grow so it's not that only their responsibility but it's also our responsibility to get to know God and this is where I want to touch you can do something you know you can uh, go and find more value in the scriptures through people that are gifts from God. And you need to discern in your heart. You need to discern who are you following online. You know, what preachers are you listening to? Because you need to understand that not everybody is a teacher or is somebody that God has sent. Not everybody out there is teaching you the word of God the way it was intended. You know, and I'm just, I'm just like giving you advice. I'm not actually teaching you. I'm just giving you advice on what the Word of God say, says it's saying right now. And, uh, and I think it's, it's pretty awesome to do these verses like this because, you know, I don't know what I'm going to encounter. I just know that I'm going to read something because if it's the Word of God, it's going to help me. I'm going to learn something, whether it is you know the coming of christ whether it is the terror that is coming to the world because of judgment day you know i don't know what we're going to encounter we're going to encounter something and 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 this is what is giving us a way of just being free and learn everything because you know, we need to know everything about the Word of God and just be filled and grow and have that connection with the Word of God, the connection with the Lord, and uh, to understand that we are learning the truth. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So you are okay reading the Bible because you're reading the truth. You're reading the very, very truth of God you're growing in Christ and by learning the Word of God by putting effort into reading the Word of God and growing you're becoming a true Christian as well you are becoming authentic in the Lord and that's what God wants he's looking for worshipers that are going to worship him in truth in spirit and in truth he's looking for those so he wants you to be one of them god is everything he's given us salvation he's given us his word he's given us everything and now we see that we're getting gifts from him to the church this will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of god's son that we will be mature in the lord will be mature in the lord so we understand here that uh, there's people who are babies in the Lord, whose characters has not been developed, whose personalities, you know, haven't changed so much. Uh, they might need to be a little bit more humble. Uh, those that uh, are still, uh, you know, cursing or, or doing things that uh, they used to do a lot more in the past, sin, uh, sin-wise, and and you know, and they're changing little by little babies that don't know how to walk so this will continue 
until we all get to that level of maturity and that level of maturity is when God when Jesus Christ comes back that's when we will get to that level of maturity because there's a lot of people that are going to be converting to Christ before Jesus comes so that they're not gonna have a lot of time to grow so that means that when Jesus comes back for us then we are going to be at the level that God wants us to be it doesn't mean that just because the last people are not gonna grow too much it doesn't mean that you don't have to grow it doesn't mean that you don't have to look for the Word of God right now. It doesn't mean that eh, it's okay, I don't, I don't have to read the Bible, I don't have to know the Word. I think we all need the Word of God and I want to challenge you to do the same thing. I want to challenge you to grab your Bible, pick one verse. If you don't understand what the verse is saying, you know, you can uh, read the verses before that and the verses after that and try to understand that one story that one paragraph that is talking about something like right now it doesn't have to be a big big uh theme or topic you know it's just it just has to be the word of god what is the word of god is saying right now like i read right now i was like okay i don't understand what this is so let me read on the verses before that and then the verses after and then i get to understand the bible a little bit better i am growing so it continues to say measuring up to the full and complete standard of christ wow wow complete standard of christ wow measuring up to the full to the full potential to the full potential to the full complete standard wow there's a standard god has set a standard god is holy jesus is holy so we have to measure up to that level we have to measure up to that standard and how do we do that by knowing this how else am i going to know what am i supposed to do now i am understanding there's a standard that i have to be something better than what i am right now i have to grow a little bit more i have to measure up to what god's standard is and how do i do that is by knowing that God has given gifts to the church, the pastor, the teachers, the prophets, evangelists. We are equipped. God equipped us. The Holy Spirit equipped us. So God is helping us, you know, to, to grow in Him, to become better. And this is the verse of today. So I want to thank you guys for staying all the way through this video and trying to understand what I was saying. Hopefully you guys understand my point and where I'm coming from and that uh, we are going to keep doing this because we have a legacy to leave behind. We have something to do in this channel. We want to bless many people, as many people as possible. We want, I want to bless you. I want to be blessed by you so if you have any comments please make sure you comment in the comment section and let us know what you think you know if you're following this channel if you are a subscriber if you want to know a specific uh, Bible verse again I'm not an expert I think that uh, even though there are titles in the Bible you know I think God sees us all the same you know at the very last day you know we are going to be called servants of God but uh, it does matter that we do something for the kingdom of Christ if you are a person that does not know Jesus Christ and have not met Jesus Christ or accepted Jesus Christ in your heart as a Savior I want you to know that he loves you and that you gotta give him a try you gotta give Jesus Christ a try he's giving you the opportunity today to get to know him so you can grow so you can be authentic in Christ and that later he can empower you there's a, a war going on right now out there against principalities against demons against the darkness and we are the light Jesus Christ is the light Jesus Christ is the truth. We are the church. We have the Holy Spirit. God is going ahead of us. 
We're not alone. We're not by ourselves. Jesus Christ is with us. He's going to be with us. Always be with us, no matter what. So if you accepted Jesus Christ in your heart and you took the decision to receive Jesus Christ in your heart or you are ready to do that, pray to God. Give Him your best honest words. Tell Him what you're feeling right now. Tell Him what you want to know about Him. If you want Him to reveal Himself to you, ask Him. He will reveal Himself to you. You will get to know Him because He's waiting for you. He's been waiting for you. So I'm going to wrap it up over here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video again. I want to thank you so much for staying in touch with this channel. And if you want to subscribe again, thank you so much. Do it and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified every time I upload video like this one. And uh, if you want to know more about the Bible, subscribe now. Thank you so much. God bless you.